Hey everyone, uh, just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about a uh, new job that I got, um, playing out this whole hypothetical scenario that I just got my dream job, um, and you know, talking about why, or my why specifically, um, really interesting. I think that it's, it's natural for some people. I think that uh, uh, some people are born with that drive, that desire, that programming or wired, however you wanna call it, um, to lead. I think some people um, lead to fill a void because there, there's nobody else there. There's, there's no other leader stepping up. I think some people uh, do it uh, as a defense mechanism. I think that they've, they've seen it done the wrong way. Uh, they've seen negative or bad leaders. And so they lead, um, you know, to fill a void or a vacuum, um, you know, and, and, and I think personally for me, my why, as far as leadership is, uh, is it's how I was built. It's how I was programmed. It's how God made me. Um, I, I can't say that there was a time when I didn't want to lead. Um, and it didn't matter what job I had or, you know, I, I guess where it started with me was back in school or, or, or back playing uh, organized sports. Um, you know, there were, there were teams that, that I would go up against or we would go up against the team that I was playing on where there was a, an awesome athlete, but a, a well-built group that was well-led would beat a team with an all-star athlete. And, and we see that today. We see that all around professional sports. Um, where maybe inferior teams beat superior athletes. Um, but it's because of leadership. It's because of that team has decided to come together under a unique goal or unique uh, task. And because of them coming together, they, they achieve phenomenal things. Um, you know, I, I would say that that's kind of where it started for me as far as organized athletics and realizing that, uh, that I wanted to lead. Um, and then I would say that kind of my, my why has been built throughout all of my experiences, my life experiences or jobs that I've had. Um, I would say that I, it was never necessarily a position that I was looking for. It was always a, a, a place of influence, a place to help other people improve. Um, you know, the, the role of being a leader doesn't necessarily have to mean that you are the boss or, or people are, you know, your employees. I think more of it is, is how you deal with personal relationships. I think more of it is how you, you build those relationships and, and a, kind of taking a part out of Simon Sinek's book, but uh, that trust factor and making sure that uh, you know, people can, can trust you. There we go, that's a little bit better. Um, you know, and then start, so starting with those personal relationships, but once the relationship is established, identifying a goal, identifying a task, you know, identifying roles and responsibilities inside the team so that you're utilizing people's strengths and not necessarily exposing their weaknesses. Um, I think that that is something that really gets me excited, gets me pumped up, gets me fired up about um, coming to work every day because I do work with an awesome team. I do work with phenomenal leadership and uh, it just makes me want to go do that more. Um, I'm not, I would say that I'm not necessarily chasing a position. I would say that I'm chasing a, a personal development, but my why is really just, this is who I am. This is, this is how I was built. Um, I would say that this is how God made me. And, and, um, you know, I, I look forward to, uh, to being able to positively impact other people, um, through a leadership opportunity, I guess is the best way to say it. So, uh, that's my why on this, uh, beautiful Friday. Uh, it's really nice outside. You can see my pink car seat in the back seat, but you better also notice the, um, the American flag with the Pledge of Allegiance in it. Um, so I hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys literally next week.